Chapter 15 Aunt Pearl jumped up. Your face, Alfred? It's all... You're limping. Looks worse than it is, he said. Here, sit down. You want something to eat? Just some milk. She poured a glass of milk and set it on the table in front of him. She sat down and watched him drink it. Want some more? No, thanks. You want some aspirin or... I took some already. Doctor gave it to me. I'll get your bed ready. He played with the glass. Thought you'd have a million questions. So you could tell me about the old stone fence off Lennox? A big dog jumped up, right, honey? The split in his lip opened again when he smiled. Yeah. I had to find out you was having a boxing fight from Mr. Epstein. Thought you might try and stop me. You getting to be a man, Alfred. I'll stop you from one thing. You'll do something else. You said you didn't like my boxing. I still don't. Seems an awful shame. Two men got nothing against each other. Go in and try to beat each other's head. I don't know about nothing else. Before the summer, you didn't know about boxing either. I guess I'll have some more milk. She leaned over his shoulder and filled his glass. When I was 17, Alfred. Don't look at me like that. I was 17, too. A man came by the house. He was from the Apollo Theater. Said he heard me singing in the church choir. Wanted to sign me up for a stage show. No star part, you understand. I'd be in a chorus, wear a fancy dress. They'd teach me some dance steps. She walked around the table, holding the milk container with two hands. Was we ever excited? Me and Dorothy and Ernestine, your mama, couldn't sign a contract because I was underage, and my mama, your grandma, wouldn't sign for me. She said that stage shows were sinful. Be shameful one of her daughters strutting around, showing off. I'd end up no good. She sat down, her fingers tightening on the container. How I talked with her, and I cried, and Dorothy and Ernestine, they begged her too. The more we begged, the harder she set her face. Sinful, shameful, no good. You never told me about that. No secret. you just always been so closed into yourself, Alfred. What happened? Nothing. The man went away. I met your Uncle John, and we went together a long time before my mama would give her blessing. She said he didn't have enough money in the bank. How that man worked. Night and day he worked. We got married and he got sick soon after Charlene came along. He never did get to see the twins. Passed on a month before they came. Her hands tightened and twisted on the container and milk spurted out onto her lap. Alfred came around the table and put his hands on Aunt Pearl's shoulders. He would have been real pleased with them. Nice girls, he said softly. She was sobbing. I don't say I would have been a star or anything. I don't know what I'm saying. But you would have liked to try, said Alfred. Yes. He held her shoulders until they stopped heaving. Thanks, Alfred. Your comfort. She wiped her eyes and looked up into his. I didn't even ask if you won your fight. I won it. She reached up and stroked his face. And it didn't even taste sweet. The winning, did it, honey? No. Gonna quit this thing now? No.